So I'm a soldier, retired, but not in these boots, because they remind me to stand strong. I joined the military right out of high school, wanting to serve my country. They taught me how to fight, but also how to persevere against all odds, how to never give up, to go all in. I was prepared, but I never imagined one of my greatest battles would be fought at home. When I met Stephen, you know, I was this soldier who was used to rules and regulations and boiled rations. Ugh. He was this hippie with this brilliant mind, and he was eclectic in his taste of food and music and motorcycles. He introduced me to dim sum, Leonard Cohen, and the power of a Kawasaki engine. Ah, can't forget. Also, he looked just like Paul McCartney, the Beatles. Uh, uh, we fell in love. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then Stephen, he started to slur his words, and he would trip for no apparent reason. We weren't too worried, but we knew we needed a visit to the doctor's office. We're sitting there. He comes in. He looks concerned. Whew, we took a breath. <laughs> Stephen, you have ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. This is a disease with no known cause or cure. You have six months, maybe two years to live. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 time out. Uh, we're planning a wedding. Sharon, you're too young to be a widow. Stephen, best you go home to your parents. They'll help you. <laughs> We left that office not knowing what to do. And that night, we sat there, and we had, like, this deadline hanging over us. Will this be our last Christmas, our last birthday together? And we struggled. Pretty soon, we stopped going out to eat for fear that he would choke. That motorcycle parked. In its place, this big, ugly electric wheelchair and the music, silent. We knew something had to change, something. And one day, maybe in desperation, we just had an epiphany. What if we flipped that script that the doctor wrote? What if we wrote it in a way that would work for us? What if Stephen wasn't dying of ALS? He was living with ALS. Oh, that gave us courage to move forward, and we married. And we had two beautiful children. We had a daughter, Madison. Four years later, we had a gorgeous son, Derek. My husband had a reason to get up every day. He was a father and a great one. He was a husband and a great one. So he had purpose. But like any married couple, we had our challenges. I'm not proud to admit, but there were times where, you know, I conveniently moved the TV remote a little bit out of his way, you know, so I could watch my TV shows. And all those times he ran over my feet with his electric wheelchair, I'm not sure all of them were accidents. No. We had each other's backs. We went all in. And when we go all in, there's no regrets. My husband lived for nine years. Nine! 
I know. Nine beautiful years. And those, those extra memories, they made saying goodbye just a little bit easier. And so, again, when we go all in, no regrets, no regrets. Imagine a world where, regardless of our circumstances, that we can be courageous. Imagine what that world would look like. Imagine all the people going all in. Yes! Thank you. <laughs>